Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Royal Nations Cup. My name is Quantum Deathcat. Here with Taiko, I'm pointing to the wrong side. How are you, buddy? I'm doing great today. I, I'm just really excited. Last year was amazing, and I'm just excited for what we're going to have today. Ladies and gentlemen, into the match we will go now. No more keck wait sitting for these players. Will the world take it over once again? I don't know uh, how, how much... Uh, you Americans love your puns, right? Uh, of course, they're not necessarily bad in any sense. I, 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 I just, I, I just know that the Canadians mostly do love it. As Wolsaw is gonna snipe first, and he's gonna get ahead of everyone onto the black section. So, good job out of Wolsaw there. See, because everyone's within two seconds of each other, right? But the French once again just a little bit more precise, and it's all thanks to Wolsaw uh, at the start here, going onto the first uh, black section when he got there the first time. He's gonna even get a ninth finish, and only two others will. And of course, Team World just behind by a tenth and a quarter, and not even a quarter, a third. But uh, that is all she wrote for them. So Clover uh, uh, is in first here for the Netherlands. He's gotta get ahead of Brazil, which is Raptor right in front of him, who's gone slow. Ooh, he's gone real slow. Clover does a nice little 360. Intel Trick can't catch up to him either. So Raptor's gonna stay ahead, and there's no time to finish this a second time, is there? And no. so there's Team World! They snipe the Netherlands, but they don't snipe the Parrots! Oh no! Brazil is gonna go through, but World, even with the cut there, can't make it through. That was so close. Well, let's see, and that's the Germans finally through with a much better cycle. You saw that, right? The, the cycle is a quarter is three quarters of a second faster and ooh, that's the Brazilians who weren't even able to finish the third cycle and so there are three teams right now fighting for this lead and Brazil I think just gave up at this point there is uh, e, they are r having a rough time of this as the first hole in one is done by the Americans just behind them is Wosile and French crew let's see if they can keep up what a line there out of rule maker can he make it through oh he does oh. and that is a massive snipe what a cycle by rule maker wow and i think that might have just solidified the the americans in first oh man yeah solid three seconds make that four now as the brazilians still trying to come back i don't think there's any po uh, time for them uh, to possibly do this in as the americans once again extend their lead and that's lars unable to get through and because of that, they get overtaken by the French, and they're now behind by seven seconds over the Americans. The Americans, yeah, this just looking way, way solid. No, uh, no mix-ups here from the American side. And the, the Germans having made their mistake, they're firmly ahead of the Brazilians, but too far behind the French. Ten seconds behind, there's not even ten seconds left. As the Americans go through for one last time, there is no more time left remaining. And the Americans, quite dominant on this map, no mistakes at all. And getting that one cycle by Rulemaker really put this one into the bag. And uh, I'm looking down the order here, and Team World actually failed. Well, I think that was the blue section, didn't they? They failed that, and they're behind by 16 seconds here. Team World could be out on the first map. This would be so detrimental to them, and allow the Netherlands to get through. Uh, is it the Netherlands? Yes, I think it, uh, the Netherlands are in their group, aren't No, Norway, sorry. No. Norway. And Team World. Surprising and very scary elimination off the start here. Ah, uh, that is not good for them. That's going to be it for Chile, it seems. We may see an extra finish yep. here from uh, the Germans, because watching them from the beginning, it looked like they were going for the full bonus time, the full 15 seconds. Well, let's see. Actually, does Slovakia get out of here? No, they don't. Ah. Oh. I thought they, uh, that one player might have been on that ninth, but uh, sadly they were still on the eighth. The Slovak we did have Germany threw... though. Yeah, they Germany finished with nine right in the end. Very, very good playing there, and that might be a strat that they might utilize in the uh, obviously in the future, right? They'd want to utilize that. Um, and right now, it's good for it is the Australians who make it through, and another two tenths separating themselves in Spain, but Spain. With no more time, they will be eliminated in top seven, in top ten, and they won't get seventh place unless they have the time. Oh my goodness, that was so close! But the Australians just barely ahead. 
Very well done. And 11 points for the top three teams as well. For the teams. One last try at this, I think, right? There's barely any time left. They're going to have one last try at this, maybe. Or are the Americans out in fifth? I think they're out in fifth. They could be out in fifth. It doesn't look like they're going to have enough bonus time. No, it doesn't. They're going to have to go full risk, but there is no more time remaining. Oh my goodness, that is GG's for them in this round specifically. And the Australians are through into top four. So are the Dutch and the French and the Germans, right? Behind by a second still. And as long as they can keep this together here, they will win this one. Ooh, that's Lars though with a nice little line. Look at Chriso, the outside line. So much speed, so risky though. The Germans catching up once again. There's going to be about two more cycles here. If no one messes up, we could see eight. I believe if the Germans make this me... one, this is going to be the end of the round. I don't believe there is enough time for an actual eight point. <gasps> oh, that was so close by Chris, though. He could have come back, but Sombot will take the win for the, Austra uh, for the Germans here. The Australians firmly in second place. Very well done. Now the fight is really between... Uh, the Dutch and the French, and it seems like the Dutch got themselves third. Very, very well done. And obviously, uh, Pol uh, Hungary right now, they are in eighth with Poland in seventh. So any snipe here would be very worthwhile. Very well done as the snipe does come through the fast finish for the Hungarians. But it's looking very, very solid for the Hungarians. All they need to do now is to finish as that's Lucian getting hit out and just snapped out of existence uh, due to the moving objects and that's been... are they fast enough as scale right now he'll win this round for the hungarians and they go ahead of world the world has fallen oh my goodness can they come back here they are a fast bunch but there's only a couple more cycles left on this one can they get it done because right now the Hungarians are ahead, and ooh, that might be the Australians as well in a load of trouble if Chriso, oh, Chriso was ahead of both teams. The Flamingos fall back down. Only one last chance here. Is there even There's enough, not time? enough time? There's not enough time. And so the Hungarians do fall, and Poland is through. My goodness, my goodness. Eiko, can you show us what the stats look like All here? All right, yes, we do have that group stage page ready. For group A, we do have the Netherlands taking it all in Australia with the second place. In group B, we have Germany taking first, Brazil in second. Group C had France in first and Poland barely making it out in second, very close to Hungary. And group D, we're having the United States first and the world makes the second. And so we're gonna go take a small little break here, ladies and gentlemen, as we get set to get ready for the top eight fight uh, at this point in time we can see here that uh team world up against team france they're one and two right they're separated by just about a second here but if team world can hold this lead over the french it's going to be massive for them in fact the french keep on resetting they've missed a whole cycle and that's going to be the win for team team world i don't see a way uh, for the French here to come back, they are way too far behind. Uh, that is the Dutch not making it through no matter what was going to happen there. So that is the first map going the way of... Uh, that was tight between Australia and uh, Germany, actually. But the world just beating out France there. That is the first quote-unquote upset uh, so far. Poland losing to the USA. That was a little bit expected. And as they're fighting for last place here... They're still fighting for against each other. If the Brazilians get ahead, it's going to be a nice little sweep. As Team World has taken the lead over the French. Team World have absolutely dominated this one. Dumpstering over the French. Team World will be the only ones on 12. Clownfish have won and swept the Kangaroos. The Aussies are out after a 3-0 sweep over the Germans, by the Germans, it's 2-1 in favor of world over the French. And I didn't see, did the Americans come ahead of the Poles in they the end? They did not make it back in the end. They were still about six seconds behind. So the Poles then take a, well, they're going to start the reverse sweep, aren't they? So 
Uh, one team is through and finished. Two of them are going to try and start their reverse sweeps, and, well, two other teams are going to try and stop the reverse sweep. So now let's look at this fight here between World and France, as it's really close. Damn, ooh, nearly got ahead, but it's Wilsile who will get in front, and instead of getting in front in first place, they do get in front of World, but they don't get in front of the Americans who actually steal, as it's going to be a, a three-way fight in the front, but the, the Americans don't really matter in this fight, because their fight is with the Poles, as Team World takes a massive lead over the French. The French making a massive mistake, down by 1.4. They only have one last chance here, and as Team World will go through and win this one out, they will eliminate France in the sem in the quarterfinals. They don't even make the semis after getting second place. Actually, no, did they didn't they win? Actually, the French. The French, uh, yes, the French had won their group. They were first in their group. Oh my goodness. And the world just steal that from them. Uh, Germany is already through as well. The Americans are through over the Poles. And now there's only one last fight. And that's the Dutch against the Brazilians. The Brazilians are known for one thing. And that's Brazilians. But uh, there was none in map 3 and 4. Let's see if they can bring some in map number 5. That's a second now lead for the Brazilians. Do they have the Brazilians? As I pointed out earlier. Clover... And all the rest of his teammates. Oh, that's Clover out. Xemius needs to fight. And who is that ahead of him? That's Lele. As Lele is in the lead now, he's going to lose a bunch of time. But Xemius, so risky, falls off. Xemius brought in so much risk. But they still aren't going to save time. This is the final, One, this last is the final rotation. Final rotation. And it's a 3v1. Oh, it's a three. It's a two v one now. Raptor is the only one who could keep this together for the Brazilians here. If he makes a mistake on this ice, it's all over. Intellectric needs to push. Look at the speed he has. He's gonna go wide. He yet pulls himself. Oh. And oh no! Oh, what a snipe! What a snipe! No way! No way! What, what a snipe! Who did he was hit the that? finish? No, he didn't hit the finish, but he clipped. On the jump oh. in, he, and as he jumped off, oh my goodness, he jumps off, and he lost so much speed that he got overtaken in the end there. I think it was by Intellectric. Yeah, I, that, I thought that oh they had goodness. it in the bag when uh, when there was the bonk right on the pole. I thought that they were free, they had that in the bag, and just the slight clip. It's what these a small gut mistakes. Punch. It's really a gut punch. That's not it. even a mistake. That's just unlucko bucko. So we will be having the Netherlands and World Mix against each other for the semi-final. And mm. Germany and the United States will be playing in the second match. Ooh, it's all down to whether the World can get the cut down. Sumbot misses, and he's going to reset. And so no cut for the Germans here. Marius would need to save this one. And now it's going to be a fight between Marius and... The Americans here, Rulemaker had to reset, and Marius finishes it just fine, and the Dutch will get second. And so, the Germans and the Dutch will win map number one. And right now, as the Germans are extending their lead to over a third of a second here, the Dutch have uh, fallen way too far behind to really catch up, unless there's a massive mistake out of Team World here, as uh, Marsotix, what a line out of him. And that is going to just nail that one in the coffin there for Team World. They're going to take the lead as uh, the Germans and the Americans. It's going to be close. They have enough time. Six seconds. Let's see it. Oh, who's got it? It's going to be the and Americans. The oh, no. That's terrible for Germany. That is detrimental AF. So we, got? Could we could take a look at the red <laughs> section here as Sambot tried to go for the inside line and Balpro <laughs> makes it! Wow! That's the speed I'm talking about. That's just... It gets you pushed so far ahead now. You're going to see probably a second or two. Yeah. <laughs> and three. they were behind. And the Dutch here, there are two seconds behind the world as Balpro's going to go for this massive cut and he makes it. No slowdown either. This is going to be a massive lead for the world. No more time for another one. So this is do or die. Team World need to get this one down, Pat. 
So do the Germans. If everyone gets a slowdown, this will be so detrimental, but there will be no slowdown. There will be no mistakes. And both the world and the Germans... Wait, what happened to the world? They... I think they ran out of bonus time right as they were going through. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that's putting Germany and the world ahead with two to one now as we move on to a Royal of Dirt and Ice. This is where we could possibly see us going on to a fifth map, but Germany and world just need to hold out. Well, last chance Andy here for every single team. The Dutch behind by 3.7, the Americans behind by 5.1. Can they make it work here? I don't think they can. Two Germans, two world players are more than fast enough to make it to the top. Get the seventh cycle in time. The Dutch get the seventh, so do the Americans, but it's not fast enough. And so we've got our grand finals actually picked out so already. We got the world against the Germans. Hector now. We saw 12 loops being done on this map before Rulemaker with a wicked flip as Clover now is in the lead for the Dutch, but he's slow. And so North will overtake and North might just put this one right through at the start here. Yeah, it's half a second that separates the, uh, the Americans and the Dutch here. As for the moment, Clover is the one. Oh, everyone from the US, bo they bonked. They all flew off. They all made a mistake. And as long as Clover finishes this strongly. Oh, look at the time difference this will be. And that is massive, half a second. And we thought the Dutch were in trouble and it's now the Americans. Everyone make the mistake. As Intellectric now in a 1v1 with North. North going a little bit high. He'll get less speed. Intellectric and him, they're inside of each other. But North, can he keep it together? Does he have the speed? Yes, he does. And so they come back down from 7 tenths. And this is incredibly intense. As Rafter right now has a massive lead over everyone else. He doesn't bonk it either. But Clover and Xemius have plenty of speed. But in case Rafter makes a mistake... He has his compatriot right behind him, Xemius, though. And Clover... Oh, wait! That's a mistake out of Rafter! This could be it! Oh, this could be it! Oh, no! Is there time? I don't think there is. Is there I time? there might be no time. I think this is going to be it for this round. This was so back and forth! And with the mistake out of Rafter there... Not Rafter, sorry, but uh, Rollmaker. And now Rafter being overtaken by all the Dutch players... There is no more time, there is no more space, and the U.S., oh my goodness, that was so back and forth. Raph was out in the lead for that round right before, and he just took it a little too inside, clipped a wheel, and lost all his speed on that dirt in the end. Get it. And so even though he was so far ahead, he did not get the cycle down. Look at Rulemaker, he's got so much speed, but does he have to finish? Oh, he's sideways, does he get it? Oh, he does. Barely, barely does. Allows the US. But, oh, Intellectric had the opportunity to tie up. They can't do so. And, oh no! All of the US fail! The entirety of the US fail! 17 seconds, the difference. And barely enough that time. As Rafter, wow, nice little job there by Rafter and North. And... Rulemaker to try and get ahead back onto the same cycle, but uh, they're catching up not fast enough. They're separated by 15 seconds. There's not even that much time left, on, except for bonus time, of course, but they would need the entirety of the Dutch to make a mistake here, and even then, it is still over no matter what. Look at that. Look at how far behind they are. Oh no. This is bad. This is smelling like a fire here. Not a good one at that, but everyone gets a bad uh, rotation there of the turn. And they're going to have quite a big one here to come back from if... Oh, North makes a mistake and he was the furthest one ahead. And so... Oh, oh okay, everyone fell off. All right. Literally everyone but one person made a mistake. All doubters. And for good reason, because there is no more time. It is two to one in favor of the Dutch. But a, a, a win for the Americans... 
They are one third of the way back. You must love that saying, but Dutch have a massive lead right now. And oh no, that's Rulemaker making a mistake, and that's gonna be them behind by a second. Wow, that's more than a second. That's 1.8 seconds now. Oh my goodness, one minute left on the clock to do the black section as many times as possible. And Intellectric, the only player who could keep the Dutch ahead of the Americans, if they could keep it fast. Oh no, he crashes it! The Americans are back! Just like that! Three seconds down, they're now three seconds up. Let's see if the Americans can get it done or if the Dutch have what it takes here. One American falls off. There is no time though. Barely any. And, oh! Okay, okay. One player from the Americas made it through. And that's all that mattered. I guess you can now call it a comeback. We're tied at two. And the reverse sweep is now on the cards. As now it's Rafter up against the Dutch. There are Rafter and North up against two Dutch players of their own as they head onto the uh, black section for the first time. Very nicely done here by Rafter. Will he be the one to take the lead? He will. And they're not separated by much here. And so it all comes down to whether Intellectric can get this in because he's the one ahead. Intellectric, if you make a mistake here, the Americans could come back and put this one away. But Intellectric's in the lead. Can he keep it together? Oh, Rulemaker can't. And he was the one ahead for the Americans. It's nine on the board. The Dutch make it through. And it was a scary time because the Americans won two. But it's all over. USA get fourth. And the Dutch get third. Wow, wow, wow. What a tournament so far. And we still have one more match after this, right? We still yeah. have Germany versus the world. Some of these sections with the freewheeling, like you can accidentally overturn and just lose more speed than you were meaning. As you see, Balpro hit one of the cages there, causing them to lose more time, and they're still falling behind. And Mar uh, Marsotics making the mistakes. Nicky Hawk making the mistake, and that's it, right? That, that is way too much time lost as Bopro needs to go full risk here, because if he doesn't, his team will be nowhere in this match, and oh. there you go. It is gone, it is finished. Well, that is rough. Eight for the Germans, seven for the world. One nothing for the Germans. Well, uh, Marsotics will take it slow, so Nicky Hawk will be ahead, but will they be in the hole? Oh, no one's in the hole. No, oh, that was Bopro in the hole. They lost so much time, though. They lost a second because both Marsotics and Nicky Hawk didn't make it in. And now the Germans are coming back. Marsotics needs to get this in. No <gasps> way! And the Germans are back! And they're tied! But Marsotics, that's three times in a row where he's missed that finish as Lars gets yeeted out of the way. And they're not, they're not in the same cycle at all anymore. Germany are far behind now. With this lead being seven seconds now, and I could see the world being in the air now. As somebody, oh wow, look at him pushing through. But he needs to go through, and he's looking kind of wide. Is he making it in? Oh, he's gonna save some time, but it's not gonna be enough. He's gonna need to do that a couple more times. And it's all down to Bopro, is it not? It is. Is he in? Bopro, oh, he makes it in just barely. And look at that! By nothing! By four tenths, we're tied at one! Oh boy, this is looking solid though for the Germans as Opro trying to catch up. Slower. Oh, he's too slow! And the world is behind by 3.6 now! Map number three. I'm just gonna wait until I say this properly though. As Germany go up the mountain here. Wait, they've all failed. Oh no, okay. Okay, one player made it. But both of them failed that. That could have been the world to steal. Two to one in favor of Germany. And all they need to do now is win one of the next two maps. As, ooh, big mistake. Out of the Dutch there. Oh, wait. No, no, no. They're ahead. Oh, never mind. It was a big mistake out of the Germans. I didn't even notice they were down by 16 seconds and down by a whole cycle. And, well, with this fin cycle finished here for the Dutch, that's going to be it. That's GG's. We're going to map five. I'll be strike here. As uh, we're both on red here, though 2.6 seconds is now the difference from 0 
Clownfish right now taking a big lead. Le big leaps and bounds for Sunbot as he finishes ahead. Marius and Lars though, they're looking strong once again. Looking like everyone from Team Germany made it through and made it through the finish. GoPro makes it through, saves a bit of time, but this would be the last chance, last chance. Andy, it's not gonna be Marsotics either. Nicky Hawk up against Germany. And that's gonna be up against Lars and Sombot. Sombot's made a mistake. Lars slightly behind. GoPro needs to catch up, but no mistakes being made. Germany have won this time around. And the Clownfish wins again. And it seemed as if the Clownfish curse, or should I say bless, bless Germany with a win as they win over the world. That's going to be it for me. That's going to be it for Taiko. It's going to be it for all of us. Thank you so much for coming around. We will see you all another day.